So now we're going to take a look at one of the summits of algebra, the fundamental theorem of algebra. And this is great. So it's really a connection between factors and roots. Let's take a look with a simple example so you can see the connection. So here's a challenge. Let's write the simplest polynomial function with zeros at 4, 1 3rd, and negative 1. Well, now we can see the theorem in action. Because if these are going to be zeros, that means that x minus each of these numbers has to be a factor. So the simplest one, the simplest such polynomial, would be the polynomial that only have, has those as its factors and nothing else. So it would be easy to write it down. It would just be x minus 4. That's required because I need to have a 0 at 4 x minus 1 third, that has to be there because I have to make sure I have a 0 at 1 third. And finally, x minus negative 1 because I need to have a 0 at negative 1. And since I want the simplest such polynomial, I don't want to add on any other factors. So this is going to be it, rock bottom, lowest price. And so what do we see here? Well, I'm going to write this term, x minus 4. Actually, just for fun, since I can rearrange multiplication, let me put this term next, which is x plus 1, and then x minus 1 third. What's that polynomial? Well, now we've got to FOIL a little bit. If we FOIL this, we see x squared. We see an x minus 4x. That's going to be minus 3x. Negative 4 times 1 is minus 4. And I have that trinomial multiplied by x uh, minus one third, and we can actually sort of do a super foil, if you will, on this. Here's the way to think about it: uh, every term here has to be multiplied by this and then this. So I see x cubed minus one third x squared. Then I jump to here, and I see this product: negative three x squared. And then this product, which is a negative times a negative is a positive. Three times a third is one, so plus x. Then I see this term negative 4x, and I see this term, positive 4 thirds. When you put all that together and combine like terms, we see x cubed minus 10 thirds x squared minus 3x plus 4 thirds. So there is the simplest polynomial that has zeros at 4, 1 third, and negative 1. And the point is that this polynomial, if you set it equal to 0, can be factored. And it can be factored to look like this. And therefore, we know that if this is going to equal 0, either that factor is 0, that factor is 0, that factor is 0. And so we're all set. Notice that this is a cubic, and there are three solutions. The fundamental theorem implies that, in fact, the highest power will tell us how many solutions we're going to have. And we always have that many solutions. They might not be real but we'll always have that many solutions.